The trial of activist Siti Qasim and the organiser of a transgender beauty pageant held two years ago resumed on Wednesday. The Kuala Lumpur Magistrates Court heard that an enforcement officer from the Religious Department failed to provide which provision under the law for the department officers to arrest Siti and the organisers during a raid. The officer had to Google search on what offence she could arrest them. She said the situation was chaotic and tense when the incident happened. The prosecution is set to call in for more witnesses. Um, setakat ni, um, pihak pendakwa dia dah panggil saksi keempat. So besok um, saya akan cross-examine lah saksi ni. Tapi um, pendakwa kata ada lagi tiga saksi. Uh, lepas tu uh, kalau habis tiga saksi, mungkin uh, pendakwa akan tutup uh, kes lah. Dan kita akan berhujah tengok sama ada ada prima facie kes ke tak ada. I just hope that they are going to be truthful. Uh, in their statement uh, and uh, tomorrow my lawyer is going to ask uh, cross-examination uh, to, to, uh, uh, to against her or, or to her uh, and uh, hopefully uh, she will realise whatever, you know, langit tu tinggi ke rendah, you know. <laughs> Siti Kasim was charged under the penal code with obstructing a public servant from discharging his or her duties. And if convicted, she will be jailed up to two years, a fine up to 10,000 ringgit or both. The trial continues on Thursday.